Good morning. Well, at least it's morning for me. I don't know what it is for you, but it's always morning somewhere. And, you know, people are being born right now. People are dying right now. People are falling in love right now. People are breaking up right now. People are fighting. People are making love. People are finally getting that promotion that they've always wanted. People are starting a new business right now. Some people are sleeping out on the streets right now. Some people are living underground right now, literally. Some people are in outer space right now. Um, some people are losing their lives right now. Some people are in the process of acute emergency or dying right now. Some people are just getting started. Some people just started their first day of kindergarten. And um, we don't really have control over what happens to us, or do we? What story do we get to live out? Is that a choice? Is that something that we author? We wake up in the morning and we think particular thoughts and those thoughts somehow, I don't know, whatever it is they do, meander, find their way out into the world and back into our lives, which ends up weaving itself or becoming the same. Um, or is it just that we find ourselves in these conditions and um, more or less we're just taken wherever the wind blows and, um, and or does finding certain uh, currents or certain magnetic lines, I'm not sure what you would call it, but does that somehow set us on a course for what you'd call uh, the self-awakening or self-realization or self-awareness? Um, and the more self-aware we become, the more choice we have in terms of what actually shows up in our lives because we are the creators of our own situations, or is that and? And also, we don't really have control over anything at all, do we? And um, how do you live your life from moment to moment then? You know, do I wake up this morning and say, oh gosh, everything hurts, let me react to that pain and move around in that way? Oh, well, I've injured my ankle, so maybe I need to let, lie down and rest, um, and maybe miss out on some other opportunities. Or do I push through it, push through the pain, take some medicine and go to work and soldier on and hurt myself maybe and then end up in the hospital? And you never, it's just, you. who knows, man? There's no right or wrong answer to any of this. And um, we're all seeking this happiness and we're all seeking this feeling of peace, contentment and belonging. And, and I don't know about you, but it's, I mean, I think... Me sitting here talking to you, I've had enough time on this planet to get the idea that I'm not normal, like, and not just in the, oh, I'm a little weird sense, but like, I'm a quite an unusual, um, like, the way that my mind perceives reality and then interacts with that is not, it's like pretty, it's not average or normal, it's pretty far out on the fringes of what would be considered like neurotypical, if you will. Um, I've had that feedback consistently from people across a wide range of socioeconomic class and um, ethnic and religious backgrounds, you know, you name it. Um, it's like sort of the gamut of human experience. And, and that's just been reflected back to me over and over. So I don't know when, I, when I'm talking to the average person or, who, you know, there is no average person, right? That's the thing, though, is like... Um, there is and there isn't, and um, truly we're all singular and unique individual beings. Um, and there is something quite beautiful in being able to recognize and tap into that, and most people never get to do that in their lifetimes. Uh, I don't know why that is. Um, I think it's partly because the way that the world comes together is a sort of, like, mixture, compromise, blending of all the different people's minds and um, 
we live in this thing that's like a consensus reality. We disagree. We say, you know what? Let's just call this, we'll call a spoon a spoon. And we're going to say it looks like this. And, you know, everyone knows what that is. And it's got a little swoop thing on the end. And it's got a little line. And we hold it with our hand. And we put stuff in our mouth. Um, and it doesn't have to be that way. But we choose it to be that way. Um, and, and it's maybe the path of least resistance. It's the easiest way. And once we've invented that, and once we've, you know, gotten accustomed to that and it works for the most part, we don't really want to change it because it's already working. So that's that conservatism. We want it to last as long as it can. And we have other things to worry about, you know. There will come a time, folks, when there is no spoon, right? It's just like the Matrix. <laughs> um, but li in a literal sense, like there will come a time where if humans are still around, we will not be eating with spoons. They, that, that will be just a relic of the past, but it's been around for a bit. It's been around for a bit. And so that's the consensus reality. And um, some people live pretty far outside of that, um, which is interesting. And anyways, I'm not going to go off. And this is a tangent I don't want to get into right now um, because it is 628 in the morning and I don't want to get emotional and I need to time to drink some tea make some breakfast and start my uh this is hard this is hard this is really hard. every day it's hard to start the day because knowing what's ahead of me and you never know what's going to happen but i mean ahead of me knowing what <laughs> knowing what's in this body right now or what it feels like in this body um knowing that if you had the feelings that i had right now in my body here um, you would be thinking I should call 911 and or go to the ER, get that fixed and checked out real quick because I can't live like this. This is bad. Um, but we can adapt to things. I've had to adapt to a state of profound discomfort and almost like emergency um, that has been in unres unresolution for a good chunk of my life now. and um, And it's like... I can't tell you how satisfying it's going to be when this resolves. And I hope it's not through just me giving up and dying because I'm not all about that. Um, if it is, that's fine. But I, I, I would be, I'm so interested to see if this, if this day ever comes that something, you know, it's spontaneously ruptured, but if it ever spontaneously puts itself, I'm working very, very hard to hold myself, my body together, literally. Um, not just metaphorically, but literally just like I'm falling apart and just like, oh, you know, which if you're hmm, 95, you might be like, you might be like, yeah, I get that. That makes sense. You know, the average person who's in their 90s or something is like literally falling apart. But or if you're someone who's younger and has some particularly rare medical conditions, you might get that like, oh, yeah, I get it. But it's extremely abnormal for someone of my age. Um, and if you look at me, right, I look normal and I look healthy. You can't really see and, and tell what's happening. Um, but, you know, you just got to keep going on. And um, so I've lost most of the use of the things that are dear to me in my mind. And But I can still, I can at least talk, you know, I can at least relate and have basic, like, basic convos like this and just be like, hey, man, you know, it's this is something. It's not nothing. So I'll take it. Um, and you know we all have we all have those burdens to bear I suppose for a time and hopefully we will hopefully I will let go of some of this you know shed some of those those bags um, you know all right well I think this is I don't want to get I don't want to ramble on anymore I'm just going to go start my day but here you here it's great to be alive, right? All right. Have a good one. Keep going.